The stated purpose of yesterday's demonstration by pressure group Husapol was to protest disparities in state and regional police salaries, nothing to do with Gibraltar. However, we know some locals found themselves its target as anti-Gibraltarian elements came to the fore. In a statement, the government says the chief minister was briefed today. He heard that Erika Gonzalez was verbally abused, then her car damaged, and then she was physically assaulted by two men after she confronted her harassers. Fabian Picardo has expressed his anger and regret and pledged the government's support in any issues arising from the incident. The chief minister declined to answer GBC questions as to whether this support would extend to legal assistance should the woman decide to take her case to the Spanish courts. Meanwhile, mobile phone footage has emerged of the moments preceding yesterday's confrontation. The 35-year-old had reportedly got out of her car after hearing it being kicked and scratched. On the footage, you can clearly hear intimidating chants of fuera, get out. The protesters crowded round her and her car, making it harder for her to drive off. Her windows were rolled down. The chance must have filled her Mercedes-Benz. One man is seen in this clip waving his hand at her face provocatively. Another followed the car to continue to shout at her through her window. Miss Gonzalez told the Gibraltar Chronicle she felt concerned and was trembling. She says she got out of her car when one man hit her through her window. Yesterday, the Gibraltar government said the protest may have been hijacked by extremist right-wing elements related to the political party Vox. Their attendance is confirmed by the group's own posts on social media. When it comes to Gibraltar, Vox has form. It claimed to be behind the removal of a concrete block from Gibraltar's artificial reef, and it recently unfurled a large Spanish flag in the Upper Rock. It's not possible to say what role Vox may have played in bringing about the hostile environment experienced by several Gibraltarians as they crossed the frontier yesterday at about midday. Meanwhile, other police and Guardia Civil officers and unions have distanced themselves from Husapol, the organisers of the protest. One senior officer in the Campo told GBC the group is not mainstream. One account from the union Sindicato Unificado de Policia tweeted that the protesters' actions were unacceptable, saying they'll encourage people to view Policia Nacional and Guardia Civil officers as violent radicals. Locally, Unite the Union has condemned what it calls fascist, irresponsible and unacceptable actions of those far-right individuals. Unite says these merit a thorough investigation followed by disciplinary action. According to the union, the off-duty officers who took part in the incident denigrated the Spanish government and their colleagues. UNITE intends to raise the issue at all levels within the European Union. Erika Gonzalez was not alone in feeling threatened and unsafe when crossing the frontier yesterday. Others gave similar testimonies to GBC. Despite yesterday's protest lasting many hours, the several incidents that we know of all appear to have taken place in a matter of minutes around midday. The fallout seems likely to linger for weeks, if not months.